I told you once you picked that book up, you never put it down again. <laughs> so much for the high-minded, right? Listen, did you stay up and read that thing all night or what? No, but I had some dreams about it. I kept dreaming about how it was going to end. Uh, <laughs> this is still the book we're talking about, right? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I guess I don't need to ask you how you're feeling today. I'm feeling better. Are you sure are you been saying that? Hey, listen, you guys. I got a great idea for today. Let me guess. We get to play cards all day, and then I get to change my nail polish three or four more times, right? <laughs> wrong. Very wrong. Today we're going to do something totally different. Today I get to go out for the food. Wrong. <laughs> Look, you guys are never going to guess what it is, so you might as well just give up. Something cheap, I hope. Uh, what else? So it's something cheap, and it's something fun, right? That's right. Something cheap and something fun. And it's going to get us out of the room for the day. You're just going to sit there dripping on the chair, or are you going to tell us what it is? For that smart remark, it's going to have to be a surprise. <laughs> 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 Nothing to worry about. Was that there last night? Yep. Is that why you didn't turn on the lights? There's no need for you to be concerned about. Well, what happened? Nothing other than uh, a disagreement. You had a fight with somebody. Well, I do. What happens to you concerns me. I will tell you. So. Is it hurt? It's getting better all the time. Don't worry. You're much better. Now that you're here with me. Yes, Liz, this is Cecile. No, Jamie's not in yet. Uh, no, I'm not sure when he will be. He hasn't said. Oh, uh, well, who's the call from? Philip. Uh, no, why don't you just put it through to me? Sure. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Jamie? No, Philip, this is Cecile. Hello. Oh, Cecile. Yes, uh, Jamie's not in yet. Is there something I can do for you? Well, maybe. I, I don't know. Well, don't be shy. I just ask. Well, actually, I was wondering if Jamie had that report finished on the... Uh, Fiscal limitations for the ledger. Uh, do you know where it might be? Well, since he's been working on it, I suppose it's on his desk. Oh, okay, uh, just a second. Oh, I, I've got it. Here it is. Uh, you know, I was just coming into Jamie's office when, when uh, you called. I've got it right here. <laughs> wow, that's a relief. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. Well, you know what? It, it just needs to be typed. And uh, other than that, it's all together. Uh, Cecile, I need it for today. Oh, oh, well, well, well you know, I, I don't think that's going to be any problem. You know, I'll just uh, have it typed and uh, Liz will do that, and we'll just message it right off to you. Well, if you want to go through all that trouble. No, it, it's no trouble at all. I'll just drop it off to Liz on my way back to my office. Well, thank you. Yeah, sure, I'm glad to do it. Yes, 
hands are full. A man has been acting strangely, Rob. I think she senses that something's happening. She doesn't know what it is. I think this is something you sit down and talk to her about. No, it isn't. But you don't have to talk to a child for them to know something's up. They sense it. They hear the arguments and they see me crying. Why are you crying? Mm-hmm. About everything. Just got through saying that what concerns concerns you. you know, why are you crying? You, you still want to be together. Yes, more than ever. God help us. I hope you understand what you're getting into. Nobody's going to let this be easy for us. We've hurt too many people. I'm sorry about what's been happening. He really isn't taking any of this very well. Is this sure enough? Yeah, finally. You've been up at the cottage, thinking things through for a few days. Is that what he told you? No, he told Mom. So he's still not coming around, right? No. I don't expect him to not for a long time. He will, unless I... Be helped not if we're going to be together. Is it possible if you just went and saw him? I can't, not yet. Well, you just can't go to him. You just uh, try to bring him in with a misunderstanding. It's too early. The wounds are too fresh. We both need time. I, I don't want to talk about this already. What'd you decide? can't stay here. It's even being in this guest room with you makes me uncomfortable. Yes, I know. I can look for a place for us to live. I can't have a place, not yet. Well, we just got to agree that uh, we can't stay here. You mean I can't move in with you until the divorce is final? Why not? Because I'm afraid I'm I'm afraid it's going to jeopardize my chances to get custody of Amanda. I can't let that happen. All right. It's not what I want. But if it's what you want, I will go along with you. Thank you. I just don't want it to dry out. I want us to be together. I want us as a family. That should be all the information the kid needs for his fiscal report. Now, all I have to do is assemble it. I think I should be able to get this together in no time at all. Yeah. Liz. Hi, is Jamie in yet? Oh, he's in Mac's office? Oh, uh, now how long do you think he's going to be there? No, 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 that's okay, not at all. Uh, thanks. An hour. All right, that should be just enough time to get this through. Okay. You got a nice, sun obtrusive little corner where my guy and I can wait? Have a seat. Thanks. There's coffee in the reception area. You going somewhere? Yes. To an appointment. Take yourself away from the nasty little goings on, huh? But I don't blame you. Must be nice to have a choice. So our friends come, Eddie and I. We ain't going nowhere. Hey, you 
guys, I need some help here. Oh, uh, what, you want me to carry that in my purse? No, no, I don't think we should be carrying this around the city. It's not very smart. Well, then I guess we should hide it, huh? Yeah, right, but where? Hey, how about the mattress? No, Jerry, come on, that's a terrible idea. I mean, that's the first place somebody's going to look, okay? Here, I've got an idea. What? Turn me off two pieces of that stuff. Yeah, okay. Probably safe for the time being. Now that we've got that all settled and taken care of, what are we going to do today? <laughs> we are going to the museum and the planetarium. Both in one day? Ah, sure, why not? I mean, it'll get us out of the hotel room for the whole day. Ah, I think it's a great idea. I've never been to a museum or a planetarium. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, neither have I. Hey, Sandy, you ever been there? Uh, yeah, sure, lots of times. Museum that dangerous? I mean, I know we're in the. Oh, uh, well, you know, you can't be too careful. But why do you have to take Jerry's gun? Why can't ta you take yours? Well, there's no ammunition. You know, it's empty. What? What do you say? You're, it's empty? Yeah, sure. My gun has never been loaded. I mean, it's uh, dangerous to walk around with a loaded gun, you know? Are you telling me we walked into that Florida hotel room with those two guys there with an empty gun? Yeah, sure, but they didn't know that. Well, I'm glad I didn't know it either. Hey, you guys ready to go? I'm ready. I guess me too. Freedom, here I come. <laughs> After you. Thank you, Leo. Okay, go ahead. Okay. All right, hold on just a second here. Sandy, what are you doing that for? Well, I'll tell you. If that's there when we come back, no cover. No. It's a room we don't come back to. You got it, big red. Right? Thanks for coming over so soon. When you said it was important. Yeah, but I know I'm taking you away from your lunch break. Do you want me to have the least fix you something? No, thanks. I ate a carrot in the car. You do? Well, you get a little figure conscious when you... Work at a place where everybody else is skinny. You want some tea? No, th Rachel, I'm pressed for time. You know, I got two street jobs this afternoon. Okay, okay, sit down. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I made some decisions I want to talk to you about. Them. I, I want to move out of here as soon as possible. Well, what's the hurry? I want to get on with my life. I can if I stay here. Well, that makes sense. Where are you going? Depends on you. I must have dozed off there for a minute. Can the kids and I come and stay with you for a few weeks or something until we find a place to live? Well, sure. You don't even have to ask. You seem reluctant. You and your children are welcome any time. And what is it? Well, it uh, seems to me that there are a lot of things you're not facing up to. You're probably right. But my immediate past is a little difficult for me right now, and I've got to I've got to get on with my life. I've got to get out of here. I want to find a place to live. I want to get back to my sculpture. I miss it. Well, it's probably the best thing in the world for you right now. Yeah, well, my hands are going to be full with, you know, the changes and everything. I guess they are. I need your support, Mom. Well, you got it. It's one thing, though. What? If I think you're avoiding things, I'm not going to be quiet about it. You know, I can't expect you to. You've never been quiet about anything you feel strongly about yet. Ha, ha, ha. When can I expect you to land on the doorstep? Today? Is that all right? Doesn't give me much time to get the house ready. Well, you don't have to do anything special for us. You're too busy. Okay. We'll manage. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate it. That's what mothers are for. Liz? Hi, would you please come in here for a moment? Thank you. This report that Philip Lyons needs. Oh, yes. Jamie finished it last night, and he just asked me to have you type it up for him. Oh, get right on it. 
Oh, do you want me to give it to Jamie when I'm finished? No, no, no. Just have it messenger directly to Philip Lyons. He's waiting for it. some time yet. They got to. We're running out of excuses for Mr. Jordan Scott. I don't mean to hound you, Jamie, but I need your signature on these reports. And Mr. Edens has called three times to know if you've finished the Preval manuscript. I can't keep putting him off. What am I supposed to tell him? Whatever you want, Liz. Well, he says it's urgent. Well, I haven't even started it yet, so you're going to have to put him off. Where's the seal? Cecile, I don't know where Cecile is. Maybe Cecile's in her office. You want me to find Not yet. Right? What's going on here? What do you mean, what's going on My here? desk, it's all clean. Well, I don't know what's wrong with your desk. Wait, Why? wait, it's that, re- that report. The fiscal the, report? The fiscal report for the ledger. I well, uh, Cecile gave me that, uh, because Philip Lyons wanted it right away. Well, it wasn't even finished. Well, I know that. That's why Cecile gave it to me to type. I typed it, messing it over to Phil 15 minutes ago. The finished report? Yes. Very detailed, beautiful job, Jamie. Well, thank you for uh, typing it so promptly. I'm well, glad to do it. You say Cecile gave it to you? That's what I said. What did I say? Did I say something wrong? Uh, no, no. Thank you. Luck. Hey, 
Yes. Who knew? Are you okay? All right. I mean, I wouldn't be here if I won. I didn't get a chance to thank you yesterday. Thank you. I owe you one. Hey, forget it. Well, I'm just glad I happened to walk by when I did. Uh, not that you couldn't have handled the situation by yourself. Right, right. Maybe, maybe not. At best, it's chancy against two of them. One of them definitely the other jump them. Yeah, as I said, forget it. There is something, though, that I wanted to make sure of. What's that? You don't think I had anything to do with it, do you? Never crossed my mind. Are you sure? I'm sure, absolutely. I am curious about uh, how is it you happened to show up when you did. I mean, uh, your timing was perfect. Well, it was uh, coincidence. Perfectly timed. <laughs> well, it was, in a way. I was... Um, I was just coming out of a certain person's office, and I stood outside for a minute to think. That is when I overheard a certain telephone conversation. That someone sent him here? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, when I heard that they were going to come over to pay you a surprise visit, I was encouraged uh, to come over here and warn you. So someone encouraged you? Well, I would have come over anyway. But it's nice to know that my instincts were shared by somebody else. Well, it sounds like a, a good friend. At least for me, it's a good friend. Thank you. Next time, see. You. All right. All right. Right. I think I know who you're talking about. Nice, useful friend. I'm beginning to think so. How about the other person? Oh. Jordan? Is he the one that set me up? You got it. I don't know why I'm surprised. No, I can see that. Uh, you've got something he wants, and he's not going to take no for an answer. Well, I'm not going to change my mind. It's going to take more than a couple of Scots goons to make me see otherwise. As long as I'm in the sporting life, he's not coming in with his escort service. See, I'm beginning to get the point. A galaxy is a system of stars. A galaxy is a universe of stars, billions of stars. The Earth is in a galaxy called the Milky Way, the lane of light on the east side of the cycle rock. This is just like lying in a field at night. Only not as comfortable. Uh, maybe in some places. Not in Los Angeles. Why not in Los Angeles? No stars in L.A. There's lots of stars in Wyoming. The sky is so clear there. Does it make you feel homesick? Sometimes. I guess I've been getting homesick a lot recently. How about you, Jack? Terry. He's asleep, Sandy. Look at him. <laughs> Why I let him sleep? I'm probably used to it. Yeah, so. <clears throat> you know, he, uh, he told me he's from Las Vegas. Yeah, he was raised there. He wasn't born there. His mom was a showgirl. Yeah, it's good to hear. Was, huh? She's not anymore? No, she isn't. She's dead. You say that like, like it happened recently. It did. Because of Jordan Scott. And me. You? I think you're going to have to explain that. Uh, it's a little too complicated to get into right now, Sandy. In a nutshell, though, Margot uh, was Jerry's mom was the only one that knew the real reason I left Jerry. Yeah. Jordan Scott was in love with me. He's a very jealous man. He doesn't like any kind of competition. Look what happened to Jerry when he just thought we were interested in each other again. Just so. Sandy. 
Jerry is very much in love with Kit Halloway. Yeah, how do you feel about that? I don't know. Okay, I guess. You know, when you're married, after you break up, you still continue to care about the people. You don't want to know if they're all right, what they're doing, you know, that sort of thing. And I guess that's the way I feel about Jerry. Who are you trying to convince, Blaine? Nobody. Okay. Really, Sandy? I said okay. You know, you said it yourself. I said what? People like us. We can't get close to anyone. Because they just end up getting hurt. Or worse. Hey, buddy. We don't, man. You have to wake up. We're going to have to make that doctor's appointment. Come on. Sandy, he looks terrible. Maybe we shouldn't go to this doctor's appointment. Sandy, he's got to go to the doctor. I don't care what he says. He's not doing so great. I know. I can tell. I'm okay, Blake. No, you're not, Jerry. Listen, I can't explain it, but I have this strange feeling. I think the best thing to do is for us to just go back to the hotel room. Look, Bernie, I can't get to it this afternoon. I... Well, I have several emergencies I've got to handle. Well, sure, I'll, I'll have it to you first thing Monday, I promise. No, I'm not trying to put you on hold, really. No, I won't let you down. It's just we've had the series of setbacks, and it's been awful. Mm-hmm. All right, I promise. All right, 9 o'clock Monday, unless I owe you one. <laughs> I was in the building, so I just dropped by to thank you for the fiscal report. You got it. Yeah, this is exactly what I needed. And Jamie, you did a terrific job. Thank you. Well, sorry it was so late. No, 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 it's okay. We have it now, so it's nothing to worry about. And listen, Jamie, please, forget what was said the other day, okay? Sure. Thank you. Okay, uh, anything else? Yes, there is. What? This is one little thing. I, uh... Continue checking into the dock site. You know, we sold out. Yeah, I know that, but I was assuming that you wanted me to continue the investigation. Well, sure, I do. Uh, you got anything? Yeah. I find out that the Argonne Shipping Company is just a front for the real owners. For who? I don't know that yet. See, the holding companies have a way of hiding their tracks. See, the real owners obviously don't want anybody to know who they are, so they're really hiding their traces very well. Do you think you can find out who the real owner is? I bet I can. You know, my curiosity is really aroused. I'll tell you something. It's going to be very, very interesting to find out who those real owners are. for you from Jerry. You heard from Jerry? Yes, yesterday. Well, tell me, how is he? <laughs> He's going to be just fine. Going to be? What do you mean? Uh, he was sick. But he's much better now, and I I thought you'd want to know. Oh, yeah. I, I've been worried sick about him. Yeah, so have I. Well, that was real nice of you to come over and tell me how Jerry is. Did he say when he'd be home? No, he couldn't tell me that. Well, but is he all right? Well, no, yes, he is. He's going to be fine. Okay. Well, thanks again for, you know, coming over here and relieving my mind. It's nice to have some good news for a change. Yes, yes. I feel the same way. Chris, could I ask you something? Well, sure you can. Are you in love with Jerry? Show. That's 
no good at all. Tell me about it. Scott's going to have my hide in a blanket unless I get those three back fast. You do have a brother, don't you? The way I figure it, it's no worse than yours, right? You're not wrong, Mr. Steele. Have you called Mr. Scott yet? No, I'm putting it off till I got no other choice. Maybe you have a choice after all. What do you mean? I made a house call when I first examined the, the Grove fellow. I have the address of the hotel where they're staying or where they were staying at any rate. You say you're going to give it to me? Yes, of course. Say you're on neck, eh? Mr. Steele. You must realize that it's in both of our best interests that we find these people. Jamie, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm really tired. I have a headache. You talked to Matt today. What did he say? What did you say? I won't talk about it. You lost your job. I haven't lost my job. Then why don't you want to talk about it? Jamie, was he very angry? Look, I'm not really in the mood to talk about this right now. Jamie, this is very important to me, to both of us. If Mac was angry, don't worry about it. He's generous. He'll forgive and he'll forget. Will remember how he treated me when I fired Pat? It's okay. Don't Cecile. worry. Now, Jamie, we just have to talk about this. You want to talk about work? Yes. All right, let's talk about work. Let's talk about the fiscal report that you made up and sent to Philip under my name. <sighs> Jamie, oh, come on. You certainly can't be angry with me about that. I mean, all the figures were together. All I had to do was rearrange them and send them on to Liz. I was only trying to help. Help? You know how ridiculous I felt when Philip came in and thanked me for this terrific report that I'd done for him? You see? Then it did help. You know how you could help me? Come here. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Come here. I mean, the one thing that I that I really need right now is you. Is is to feel your arms around me. Oh, you poor baby. You know what I think you really need is to uh, just crawl under those covers. I'll get you some aspirin. No, no, that's not what I want. But if that's what you need. No. What I need is you loving me. I want your arms around me. Put them around me. Come on. <laughs> okay. Mm. Wait to see what I brought home. Wait. What is this? Every time we try to make love, you poke me off with some excuse. Now, uh, Jamie, you know that that's not no, no, true. No, wait, wait, wait. When was the last time that we made love? And whose fault is that? I mean, you never come home. And when you do come home in the wee hours of the evening, you expect me just to jump at your very command. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not made that way. You can't just use me whenever you want to. I'm, I won't have it. Use you? Is that what I'm doing? You know, I don't know exactly what you're doing. But what I do know is it's not love. When I make love, I like to be wooed a little bit first. Not just awaken in the gray light of the morning to some blundering... Blund blundering? Blundering? Is that, is that what I... Is that what, what you call it? Blundering? Oh. Jamie, honey, you know that's not what I meant. Well, that's what you said. Uh, I don't know. Maybe what Mom said about you was true. That you really did only marry me because I'm Max Ann. That's nonsense. Is it? That is so low, Jamie. I, I won't even honor that question by well, well, answering I know. it. I mean, you've never done anything to convince me otherwise. Oh. Cecile. Hey. Now that Mac is so angry with me, you're very worried about my position with the company. In fact, 
Well, may, maybe you're wondering whether you married the right man after all. Could you ever suggest such a vile thing? Well, all you have to do is tell me it isn't true. I'd probably even believe you. Jamie, I married you for one reason, and one reason only. I loved you. Love? Oh, come on. Now you're not listening no, to I'm me. No, I'm not listening to you. I, I, I don't like what I'm hearing. You know what I think? I, I think you would have married anybody who, who was next in line to take over at Corey Publishing. I am not going to listen to Wait this. Wait a minute. You're not going to listen because it hurts? Well, I'm glad it hurts. Yeah, if Philip was next in line, you'd have gone after him. No matter what the past was with him, you'd, you'd patch it up just so you could have all that power to play with. Is that it? Stop it! Just stop well, it! I mean, it wouldn't matter who it was, just as long as it was the head of Corey Publishing. I mean, who could have been? It could have been anyone. Uh, Sandy Alexander, you'd gone for him. If you oh! 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 Jamie! <laughs> Me in love with Jerry. I mean, where did you get an idea like that? I just started putting some pieces together and I didn't like well, the way things looked. I mean, like what? Like why you were the one to take him home after his accident. Well, I mean, at the time, it seemed like a perfect solution. I, my hours are flexible here, and between Lee and myself, someone was always home. One of us could be with them all the time. And, and did that really bother you? Well, to be perfectly honest, what really bothered me was that he made such a point of asking me to tell you how he was. Jerry asked you to tell me? Maurice, you're acting like someone. to yourself, you are. Look, I don't want to be in love with Jerry. I mean, honestly, I don't. I know that you and Jerry are in love, and, and I would never do anything to come between you. Never. It's just, it's just that Jerry's come to mean a lot to me ever since Larry walked out. Joey tells me you still love Larry a lot. Yes, but I'm trying not to. It still hurts, though, doesn't it? Well, yes, but, and Jerry's, you know, been here for me most of the time and when I needed somebody. But as a friend, Clarissa. I know, I, I mean, I know that, and I know that that's how Jerry feels too, but I can't help it. I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm in love with him. Clarice, I love Jerry very much. And I think he loves me. When he comes home, I want us to go on with our relationship. But I don't want to see you be hurt. Look, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you telling me that Jerry's all right. And you don't have to worry. I mean, I would never do anything to come between you two. I promise. You're a very special person, Clarice. And I hope more than anything, you find happiness. Thank you.
Join us each weekday at this time for the continuing story of another.